So I apologize for filming a video like vertically like this, but I figured I would film a health update while I'm stuck at this train that might honestly literally be ending right now, but whatever, that's fine. Um, so you're on my mount of my car. But I had my surgery console today for my hiatal hernia and it went really well. I'm actually waiting for them to call and schedule surgery, so I'm going to be getting surgery. Um, he's like very confident that it's going to help me not be in pain anymore and you know it won't help because I have a mentality disorder that I won't be able to swallow pills so and stuff like that. But um, like all my pain and discomfort, he's like very confident that it's going to go away. He said there's like a 5% chance that it won't. But he was so confident about it and then also too the fact that they came in and just like confirmed my medical history but they were like telling me what was going on and it was everything i already knew but like i didn't have to explain it it was just like great because i was literally joking the other day that i should make a powerpoint of everything going on with me um and it wasn't even really like gastrointestinal stuff like they brought up my uh, fnd so i was just like really impressed and like they seemed to know what that was too so that was really nice to know that they were like familiar with my case, unlike the gastroenterologists that like argued with me about surgery. Um, he also said because of my age that like adding that on that I'm a very um, good candidate for surgery, and I was like, because the last doctor, but, like they were really arguing with me because I was young, that like I shouldn't get surgery because I'm young, and I'm just like, doesn't that like mean that I would have better recovery situation and this surgeon was like yeah and he just like didn't understand why we hadn't fixed it before but he was very sympathetic what is oh it's because i'm on the way home from dropping my boyfriend off to pick his car up from the shop and now it's like that your bag thing is going off but um but it was like really good and he, the guy was really nice he's gonna be doing my surgery and he's booked out like three to four weeks and then it's like i think he said three to four weeks of recovery so it's gonna be a while and i'm not saying it's gonna be easy but i'm literally like looking forward to this so much like this might be the best thing that like i do for myself like i can't even fathom the idea of like being able to eat normally like i know it's like normal for everybody else but just like the idea of like you know, they're like, oh, you're gonna be on, like, a liquid soft food diet for a while, you're gonna have, like, pain for a while, things like that, but it's like, okay, it's fine, but, like, the idea that I get to go, like, after that, like, you mean to tell me I'm not gonna have pain? Like, that's just, again, I know it's normal for other people, but, like, this has become my normal to where I don't remember what it's like to not be uncomfortable because of this, so I'm just, like, It's gonna be so nice like I literally like keep I haven't fully cried yet I feel like it's coming but like my I just like feel myself tearing up because even just like I don't know like my weekends like my one of my favorite things to do is when my boyfriend goes to his parents house I order DoorDash and I just have my alone time and it's just so nice but then I have to suffer the consequences after of eating and the idea that it might just be fun no pain and like even like being able to I don't know Easter might be pushing it just because I don't want to have surgery from my normal or not but like things like that like like special events the fact that I can just like enjoy myself and I don't have to like ration what I'm allowed to eat and like don't eat before and all this stuff like normally like for example Easter like how I am I won't eat like I'll eat like early in the morning or like early in the day the day before Easter so that I'm able to eat like dinner and like even like my birthday being able to have cake like that's so fucking sad but just like I haven't had an actual cake in a while like I can't handle frosting the frosting of it it hurts it's just too much for me and the idea that I can freaking have a birthday cake <laughs> like maybe oh god now I'm gonna cry I'm gonna be going crying but <laughs> I'm trying not to cry but just little things like that where I'm just like I completely throughout this whole process of trying to get better I have in a way almost accepted that I'm not going to because it's been so hard I'm like I'm just accepting how things are 
to where the prospect of being able to like eat cake from everything was just like just not a thing. So I don't know. I'm so skeptical because I I don't know if it's gonna fix everything. I'm really really hoping that this guy, you know, what he thinks is true, that it would help me because I don't know. I I will be forever indebted to this man. <laughs> But it would just be so nice to have a freaking end of this chapter. But at the same time, it would also be pretty frustrating. I mean, I'll be happy about it, but just like the fact that I've known about this hernia for almost two years, and the original doctor said I could live with it, and I've been fighting with them to get surgery. Like, if this fixes it, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be very happy, but I'm also gonna be mad that it took this long. Because I could have been, you know, I could have been fixed for like two years now. So it would be great. Like I, I hope this is coming to the end of the chapter for me with this, because that would just be amazing. I know I just keep repeating myself, but that's the update. I still haven't gotten a call to schedule yet or anything, but you know, soon enough. And I am really looking forward to it. Um, he told me that I would spend the night in the hospital, go home the next day, which. I'm fine with, I don't care. Um, again, it's the same thing as like the pain, like knowing that it will have an end. But that's how it's been, it's like, I, I'm like, oh, okay, I eat, I hurt, and then I'm like, okay, time to do it all again tomorrow, you know? But like, at least with this, it's like, okay, you, I have an actual expected, like, when am I supposed to feel better? And I like, might actually feel better? And the same thing with the hospital stay, it's just like, yeah, I get to spend the night. That's not that big of a deal, I guess, but... I had my hospital stay in November, you know, so, like... But that was... I didn't know when I was coming home. Like, I wasn't sure what was going on or anything. I didn't know how long I was going to be there. So, staying in the hospital for a night, even though I just probably want to go home after that, I... I'm okay with. Because at least I will know, like, I'm going home tomorrow, you know? Versus when I was in the hospital in November, I like had no clue what was happening. So, yeah, that's pretty disjointed and everything, but I just wanted to film. Where am I going? I'm not going this way. <laughs> but I just wanted to film a an update on my appointment today and how I was feeling about everything and you know obviously I'm going to share updates because that's what I've been doing but yeah I'm not editing this or anything so I apologize but um I think you just saw me have a panic attack <laughs> somebody like turned and then looked like they were going to turn out in front of me so I got scared but um yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to updating you more bye